Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this session on the clinical sign of the day. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I am the general medicine educator on an academy platform. So before going ahead with the session, let me just give you a small update from an academy. An academy has come up with two important batch courses that is FMG batch course for the students appearing for FMG exam in the month of December 2021 and target next 2022 batch. So to get subscribed to these batch courses, you can use my code that is live med, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. And another important amazing offer from an academy is that if you take 24 month subscription, you will get four months subscription free. And if you take 12 month subscription, you will get two months subscription free. So in order to get these subscriptions, you can use my code that is live med, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. So having said this, let me come up to the clinical sign of the day. So the question is, where is the site of lesion for this disorder, right? So I'll just show you the video first and then you go through the options. Right. So first you should be able to make out what exactly is that particular disorder which you are able to see over the tongue. And if you see the options here, like midbrain, Pons, middle oblongator and cerebellum. So first of all, what is the diagnosis of that particular disorder? Diagnosis of this particular disorder, it is the fasciculations, right? Whatever you are seeing over there is the fasciculations. And let me tell you, fasciculations, they are the sign of lower motor neuron lesion. Right? They are the sign of the lower motor neuron lesion. Now, what is that particular lower motor neuron which is supplying the tongue? The lower motor neuron supplying the tongue, that is the 12th cranial nerve. Now, you should know where is the nucleus of the 12th cranial nerve. The nucleus of the 12th cranial nerve or the 12th cranial nerve, it originates from the middle law oblongata. So, where will be the site of lesion? The site of lesion is within the middle law oblongata. And if you take the midbrain, the cranial nerve nuclei like what you have in the midbrain is 3, 4 and 5. And the cranial nerve nuclei what you have in the pons, it is 6, 7 and as well as 8. And in the middle of oblongata, the cranial nerve nuclei that you have is 9, 10, 11 and as well as 12. So, whenever there is a 12th cranial nerve nuclei lesion or 12th nerve lesion, then the individual will have the presence of this fasciculations and that 12th cranial nerve nuclei or 12th cranial nerve will be originating from the middle oblongator. So the site of lesion is in the middle oblongator. Now, you should know what are all the various conditions which will cause the fasciculations, right? And the mnemonic for this particular is DOSA PHD. Right. Now, what do you understand by this DOSA PhD? Let me tell you. So, these are all the conditions where you will have the fasciculations. That is diabetic amyotrophy, organophosphorus poisoning, spinomuscular atrophy, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, poliomyelitis, hyperglycemia, hypoxia and dissociative sensory loss condition and that is nothing but syringomyelia. So, these are the conditions where you have the presence of the fasciculations. And the most common cause for your fasciculations will be your amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which is nothing but a motor neuron disease. Now, what will be the homework for the day? The homework for the day is, what is the drug of choice for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis? And what is the mechanism of action of that particular drug used in the treatment of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis? This will be the homework for the day. So having said this, let me just conclude this particular session saying that just do comment our video and please let us know whatever you feel and just please like and share our videos which will be helpful for the students appearing for the PG entrance exams. Thank you very much.